In this week's Tableau Tip Tuesday, I'm going to show you how to create bar in bar charts in Tableau. These types of charts are very useful for when you want to make comparisons. I first learned to create these back in Tableau 4 before reference lines were even a feature. So let's take a look at how you create these. We're going to use the coffee chain, the coffee chain data set for this example. And the simplest way to do this is to just drag market to the, let's put it in the columns, and let's go ahead and take the budget sales and put those in the rows. All right, so now the idea here is we want to put another bar inside of this bar to represent sales. And the idea there is to make it kind of look like a thermometer or that we're tracking toward a goal. So the goal will be in the background and the, uh, the actuals will be in the foreground. So the way that you create this is you need to take your second measure and drop it on top of the, the uh, budget sales axis. And what happens there is we get now we get side by side bars. What we really want is we want these over top of each other. So I'm going to take measures from the column shelf and I'm going to move it to the color shelf. Great. So now we have budget sales and sales, but you'll notice that they're stacked. So the next step then is to go up to the analysis menu, go down to stack marks, and turn them off. So now one mark is simply behind the other. The next step is to make them different sizes. And we do that by taking measure names again and dragging it to the size shelf. OK, so now we've got sales in the background and budget sales as the thinner bar inside. We want those actually reversed, so I'm just going to reorder them on my measure value shelf. And there we have it. We have a nice little thermometer type view that shows how we're tracking toward our goals. If you don't like it in that direction, you could easily just flip it and put it side by side, maybe make the chart a little bit smaller. We can maybe drag it here. And perhaps we could go, oops, sorry about that. Perhaps we could then make the bars a little bit bigger that way. Okay, so that's our first example. So this is a, let's call this bar in bar one. The other way that sometimes you want to compare uh, a bar inside of a bar is to have dimensions as the different bar sizes instead of measures. So let's look at an example of that. So let's go and create a new worksheet. And this time we want to take budget sales, put that in the rows, and then let's take sales and put that, uh, and now let, we want to do just, no, actually, let's just go ahead and do sales. And what we want to do now is we want to compare, let's say, two markets. So let's filter this down and say we want to compare the central and the east. Hit OK. And we're going to do much the same thing. We're going to just drag market to the color shelf, drag market to the size shelf, go to the analysis menu, and turn stacking off. OK, great. So now we could break this down a little bit farther if we wanted. Maybe we want to do it by product, perhaps, instead of type. Maybe, maybe flip them and sort it, something like that. So now we have a much nicer view of how our markets are comparing against each other. So again, these bar and bar charts are very useful for when you want to compare uh, two things to each other. In the first example, we looked at comparing sales to budget sales. In the second example, we're comparing two markets. I hope that helps, and take a look at the blog, and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.